today's video, what I wanted to go over is five settings that you definitely should adjust within your Google TV, especially if you're a new user. I know a lot of you guys probably went out, grabbed the new on 4K Streaming Plus, or oh, you have the on 4K Streaming Pro, even the Google TV devices. But this is gonna be a combination of settings that affects your privacy, along with some customizable option that just makes it easier for you to navigate your device. So we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so this video shouldn't be too long, guys. Just five settings that's worth checking out in your Google TV interface. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first setting is gonna be concerning your Wi-Fi. So in order to get to that, I'm gonna go to our settings in the top right, and we're gonna click on settings there. We're gonna go to our privacy, click on that, and we're gonna go ahead and click on location. Now, this setting is the location status. Now to the right, it shows the location status and it says it uses your Wi-Fi to estimate your location. Now on a smartphone or mobile device, I can see this being somewhat helpful. Uh, maybe you're looking to navigate or get to a certain point or estimate a distance, but on a streaming device, personally, I don't see the need for it. So under the explanation, says it uses Wi-Fi to estimate location. So Google may collect location data periodically and use the data in an anonymous, anonymous way to improve location accuracy and location-based services. So again, maybe it's me being paranoid. I know a lot of you folks probably think the same way I do. Um, the word anonymous thrown in there, plus the fact that this is a stationary device, I'm gonna turn this off, but let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Uh, is this a setting that you think you should leave on or turn off? All right, so the very next setting is gonna be in the same area, and this is gonna be under your privacy settings. So I'm gonna go to my settings. I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go down to privacy, click on privacy, and we're gonna go down to ads. Click on it. And I know this has something similar on the Amazon Fire TV devices. Uh, each device is gonna have an advertisement ID. And the advertisement ID is a unique identifier that allows developers and marketers to track your activity for advertising purposes. What this is, guys, it collects information on you via this ID, then it knows to push ads to you that's tailored to whatever you're looking for. So if you ever wondered why you're on your computer and you search for a laptop, then you go over to your phone and you see ads for a laptop, this is where the tracking ID can come into play. I find those annoying, but luckily within this interface, there's a couple settings to delete it or you can reset it just to kind of start from fresh and stop the tracking. So if I scroll up, you can see there's a, a enable debug option for ads. So instruct apps to write ads debugging information. I'm gonna leave that off. However, when you go up more, you have two settings that can really help with those ads. So one is to reset advertisement ID. So this generates a new advertisement ID that apps can use from now on. The other one is to delete advertisement ID and this can no longer use advertisement ID to show you personalized ads. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. All right, you see at the bottom, it says it's deleted. Now I don't have an advertisement ID, but if you change your mind, you can always go back in and get a new advertisement ID. Again, one of those settings that is gonna just keep Google from tracking you more than it already is. So the next setting is gonna be another privacy setting. So for this, we're gonna go to our settings. Click on it. I'm going to go down to privacy again. Click on that. And we're going to go down to security. Click on that. And for me, this is more of an annoyance than anything. Uh, for me, I do have quite a bit third party applications. And from time to time, what Google will do on these devices, it happens on my Vindia Shield, it happens on my other Google TV devices. It will scan your device. And when it finds an app that didn't come from the Google Play Store, it will label the app as harmful or just keep reminding you that this app probably should be deleted. So for me, I'm gonna turn this off just because I know I install a lot of third-party applications. It's more of an annoyance than anything. Um, there's also another one where it sends it to Google. That's also off, but let me know what you guys think. Do you get those pop-ups for your third-party apps? I know I do, and that's why I choose to turn this 
setting off. All right, so enough with the privacy security. Let's jump into something that's a little bit more fun. And like I said, the last setting is gonna completely change the way you interact with your Google TV. So the first thing we're gonna do is, you can see on my homepage, there's so many recommendations. And most of these I don't even use, guys. I'm still scrolling, still scrolling, <laughs> still scrolling. Um, and there's a way to essentially clean this up. So what we're gonna do is go all the way to the bottom. And you see there's an option to manage services. Click on that. And how this works, guys, this is where you can turn off what apps are shown on that home screen, what recommendations for apps are shown on that home screen. So you can see I have Prime videos, I have Apple TV. So for me, I know I don't have Apple TV, so I'm gonna turn that off. I have a bunch of options down here. All right, I also have Haystack News. Do I want that on? Let's say we wanna keep that one. We got Plex, Pluto TV with recommendations. All right, so I'm gonna leave those on. We also have Red Bull TV, probably turn that one off. We have Roku Channel, Tubi, Zumo Play, turn that off, leave YouTube on. And now when I go back home, I should have a lot less of those um, recommendations. So let's go through it now. All right, so it does take a time for it to just kind of refresh everything. Well, now you can see a couple pages there, not as bad as it was before. But again, I can always go in and um, and remove it. I think a lot of these are from Plex, but I can always go in and adjust it even more. So that's one of those settings that I find useful just if you want to fine tune. However, this last setting completely changes the way your interface looks and it just makes it minimal. A lot of people love it. Let me know your thoughts. All right, so this one is going to be apps only mode. And essentially what this is going to do is going to remove all the recommendations, remove all the fluff and just give you the favorite applications that you want to interact with. For me, it does remind me of the Apple TV where it's just the apps that you use and maybe a little area up top. But let me know what you guys think. All right. So in order to get to this, we're going to go over to our settings. We're going to click on that. We're going to go down to our accounts and sign in. Click on that. Go over again, and we're gonna go down and you should see this apps only mode. Turn that on. All right, it's gonna give you a warning. All right, search Google Assistant will be disabled. You can access all apps installed on the device. Um, apps can continue to show personalized recommendations and track history, YouTube TV, privacy settings are not affected. All right, so it kind of gives you a little warning. Go ahead and turn it on. And now when I go back home, it will go ahead and refresh the home page. But now you can see that all I have, guys, is my applications, which a lot of people like. Like I said, um, you still have this little nice back. You still have a nice background in the in the top area recommendations, YouTube, whatever the case is. But if I also wanted to, let's say, remove something, let's say I wanted to remove Red Bull TV. I just do a long press, view details. And then I can go in and uninstall that application, All right? So again, nice and easy, fluid, no fluff, just really the apps that you use. And like I said, a lot of people have been using this. I use it frequently, just uh, especially with the kids. I don't want all the recommendations on there, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like I said, those five recommended settings to adjust, play with, um, just to be aware of for your Google TV device. If you have any questions drop in the comments if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one